Hi, it's Anna Mason, and in this mini class, my good friend Jennifer Rose is going to guide you through the process she followed when she painted this poppy using her loose watercolour technique. Let's take a look. I went really loose with this painting and didn't start with a line drawing. Instead, I painted straight onto the blank paper with my brush. I started by applying a watery wash to the lightest colour area, which was the poppy's centre. And whilst that was still wet, I worked my way up the tonal range, working next on the mid-tones. I applied a watery red mix to form the petal shapes. I dropped in some yellow pigment, which resulted in some lovely colour bleeds where the different hues were mixing together on the paper. I then let my painting completely dry before building up the colour more by applying a slightly thicker consistency of my pink colour, dropping in some yellow to create an orange hue. Whilst that was still wet, I introduced a dark purple colour around the centre to give the poppy depth. I let this layer dry with a little help from my hairdryer, then began building up the colour and tone in the petals using more layers of the watery paint. Some very nice watermarks were forming around the edges of the petals where the pigment in the paint was collecting. After that layer had settled and dried, it was time to bring contrast to the poppy by painting in the black stamens around the centre. My poppy flower now needed a stem, and to create this I used a really fun technique called a colour run. I refreshed my water and then using the tip of a clean brush, I drew a line of water where I wanted the stem to be. Then I carefully dropped green and yellow paint into the wet area, moving the pigments around with my brush. Then I added another stem and a flower bud to my composition. And then my loose poppy was finished. A full video class of this loose poppy is available now in my online school. If you've enjoyed this mini class, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can find more videos from Jennifer Rose. Then hop on over to animesonart.com where you can take a full length video class for free and find a whole heap of resources to help you pick up your brush and paint the way you've always wanted to. And if you'd like to see more of Jennifer's paintings, take a look at her site, jenniferrose.gallery. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon to help you create watercolours with WOW.